Welcome everybody to this tutorial for TMS 3715, Teaching Home Languages in the FET. The lecturer for this module is myself, Dr. D. Sanders. I look forward to supporting you in your studies and helping you succeed. My contact details are Standard at unisa.ac.za. Please feel free to email me if you have any questions, queries, or comments. Today, our focus is going to be on Learning Unit 1 of Tutorial Letter 501, Understanding the Adolescent Learner, pages 1 to 12, Tutorial Letter 501. And learning outcomes for this first learning unit are define the adolescent period in terms of early, middle, and late stages. Explain the physical, social, emotional, and cognitive developmental stages that the adolescent learner goes through. Discuss the instructional strategies for engaging the adolescent learner in language learning. And finally, to conduct document analysis of the CAPS document and how it aligns to the guidelines for teaching the adolescent learner that you have studied. Please keep these outcomes in mind as we go through the learning unit. What is adolescence? Charles Dickens said, it's the best of times. It is the worst of times. It is the age of wisdom. And it is the age of foolishness. Remember, adolescence is the transitional period between the dependence of childhood and the independence of adulthood. It is a time of rapid physical, cognitive, social and emotional maturing. Adolescence can be a time of both disorientation and discovery. Transitional period can raise questions of independence and identity. This stage not, does not only refer to biological growth, but also to social, emotional, psychological, and moral growth within the social, emotional, psychological, and moral cultural context. Please remember this point. Now it's your task. Explain your own understanding of the term adolescence. Let's share our ideas. What do you understand? And our thinking stop, number one, for this learning unit. Think back after describing your understanding of the term adolescence. Now think back to your years. On our discussion forum, write two interesting points, two interesting happenings that you remember about that time of your life. What stands out in your minds that you can recall? Please share it on our discussion forums. Remember, there are three stages of adolescence. It is a unique developmental period. Divided into early adolescence between ages of 11 and 13 years old, middle adolescence between 14 to 17 years old, and late adolescence, which we refer to as early adulthood. Remember three stages early, middle, and late. Now, early adolescence, as we've noted, refers to the age group between 11 and 13 years. Puberty usually begins during this stage. Learners in this stage become aware of their rapidly changing bodies and start to worry about their physical appearance. And they experience shyness, blushing, modesty, and a greater interest in having their own privacy. This period it's also characterized by sexual curiosity, which is usually expressed through admiration of celebrities, 
teen idols and musicians. Relationships with close friends become more important than family relationships. Early adolescents start to realize that their parents are fallible, begin to identify their own faults. It is also common for early adolescents to show acting out behaviors. Think about early adolescents. And now we can focus on middle adolescents. This is the stage between 14 and 17 years old. Puberty has now passed. Teenagers in this stage are extremely concerned with how they look and they think others are concerned. Relationships are often changing during middle adolescence. Middle adolescents complain about their parents preventing them from becoming independent and they withdraw from their parents. There is an intense focus on peer groups during middle adolescence. They may try to assert their independence by picking up annoying habits. Learners in middle adolescence engage in risk-taking behaviours. Did you experience any of these during this phase of your life? Think about it. I know I did. Late adolescence, the final stage of adolescence. As we've said, it's known as early adulthood. This refers to the stage between the age of 18 and 20 years. There is complete physical development and the learner has grown to the full height of an adult. They generally have more impulse control by now and are better at judging, engaging risk and rewards. As they move to early adulthood, adolescents embody stronger sense of their own individuality, identity and values. At this stage, they become focused on their future and base their decisions on their hoped for future. They are separated physically and emotionally from their family, opting for closer peer relationships. Some tend to re-establish an adult relationship with their parents, considering them more than equal from whom to ask advice and discuss mature topics with. During this last phase of development, the adolescents also experience increased emotional stability and independence. The learners in the FETHL class belong to both the middle and late since then. These are the learners that we will be teaching. It is very important that as you design your language lesson, you use your knowledge of their cognitive, physical, moral, emotional, and social characteristics to enhance their language development effectively. As you will see in the table displayed on your screen, as well as in tutorial letter 501, gives us a summary of the physical, cognitive, and the social emotional developmental characteristics of our early adolescent period, middle adolescent period, and late adolescent period. Please keep this handy as you study this learning unit and as you one day prepare your lessons for your FETHL learners. Task two, name the three different stages of adolescence. Outline at least three physical, three cognitive, and three social emotional characteristics of each stage. Remember our discussion as well as our summary table. It will help you complete this task. Three different stages of adolescence. Their physical, cognitive, social, emotional characteristics. Thinking stop two. Thinking back to your adolescent years, please share one physical, one cognitive, one social emotional development that stood out for you as you progressed through your adolescent years. Please share your views on our discussion forum. 
creating a language learning environment for adolescent learners. This is the crux, the most important part of our learning unit. It's found pages 9 to 12, tutorial letter 509. Reduce language concepts by making meaningful connection to learners' lives. Use movement and peer interactions. Take time to identify and then articulate to the learners the whys for language learning in each of the major concepts and skills you will need to teach. Model expert reading skills and help learners to make connections to contexts that they will encounter in the text. Offer strong anticipatory introductory activities that clearly connect new ideas that are socio-culturally relevant or familiar to your learners. Show respect for your learners. Respond and or give corrective feedback to learners' work as soon as possible. View your classroom as a place to establish a different community of peers. Divide instruction developed through lecture or silent individual tasks into seg shorter segments. Task three, outline some of the ideas of creating a language learning environment for teaching adolescent learners. Remember our discussion on creating a language learning environment for our learners in our FETHL classrooms. This will help you complete task three. Our final thinking stop for this learning unit. Having discussed some pointers for creating a language learning environment for teaching adolescent learners, how do you feel this will make a difference to your classroom learning lessons? Please add your views on our discussion forum. In summary, from the above, it should be evident that while the adolescent developmental period present teachers with many different challenges, it also includes many growth moments that mark their learners' increasing maturity, which can be utilized to promote effective language learning. An adolescent's normal developmental process can certainly confound and frustrate even the most patient and understanding teachers. However, adolescence includes many growth moments that mark the learner's increasing maturity, which can be utilized to promote effective language learning. If we, as FET teachers, are armed, with the knowledge of the developmental stages of adolescent period, we will better be prepared to teach these learners and ensure successful teaching and learning occurs. Super job, well done. You've completed learning unit one, understanding the adolescent learner. Thank you for joining our tutorial today. Please remember, you're welcome to feel free to ask any questions that you may have. You may email us, post them on our discussion forums. And finally, remember to add your pointers, your views, your opinions on our discussion forums. These will be very welcome and very important for us to share our ideas. Thank you once again for joining this tutorial.